Um, how do you feel about the uh, music scene back home in Waco, man? It's straight. I heard a few of the artists, man, especially uh, Hood Day, the mm-hmm. South Waco Hood Day, man. I heard some of the artists when I performed and stuff, and it, 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 they sound good to me. They actually reached out, you know, they followed me. We networked and whatever. Uh, you know, um, some of them want to do uh, features with me, so I'm open to whoever, you know. Yeah, have you done any features for anybody? Uh, few, few local people like mm-hmm. around here, yeah. Uh, or in Dallas or Waco? Uh, Dallas. Okay. They'll send me like the song, they'll send it to me, and then I send my verse back to them. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they want to pull up either way. I mean, I'll just do the feature. Come on with it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. I you... think I did like uh, last year, 2019, I think I did six features. Okay. I'm just waiting to when I think like two of them released it, but. A rest. I'm just waiting for them to drop it. Yeah, they're probably holding on to it. They yeah, know it's five, man. <laughs> is, yeah, but I did like six. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, answer this question for me, man. I hope you're not one of those artists who do a feature with somebody and don't promote the song and then like. I'll share. I'll share that song. Yeah. Yeah, I'll share that song. That's yeah. dope, bro. Because it's a lot of people who who man they charging five, six thousand dollars for a feature. They just get that money and run. They don't promote, try to promote help. it. You know, so I just nah. think that's messed up, man. No, nah, like, I'm gonna I'm share the song. I'm gonna come to the video if you want to shoot a video. I'm gonna come do the video. Uh yeah man yeah I'll be saying that that's that's crazy that's dope bro that that definitely sets you apart from people I can tell just just our conversation off camera bro you 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 peer bro you got good energy bro yeah and that's probably why you winning you know what yeah. I'm saying like you 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 far ahead of a lot of people that I've come across in the past before not not just artists just people period you know yeah some people out here miserable man because yeah. you know so yeah. um favorite favorite artist favorite artist uh. I got a lot, bro. Like, I'll uh, say Boosie, Hot Boys. Uh, I got a lot of favorite, like, that you got I got old to. school yeah. here, man. Yeah. Okay, that's Scarface, dope. Scarface, you know, Ghetto Boys, uh, 50 Cent, I like Money Man, mm-hmm. No Cap. Uh, free, 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 free No Cap, man. Yeah, uh, BG, Juvenile. Mm-hmm. Free BG. All of them, <laughs> yeah, Free BG. Um, bro, so many people, bro. I got, I'm, I feel like I'm going to get somebody. 50 Cent, mm-hmm. uh, Bone Thugs, you okay. know, them I can hear too. that a little bit in you. Yeah, 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 with that, uh, Priceless. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. But, is, yeah, I, is Price your favorite song of yours? Yeah, I think so. It came from the heart. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Y'all make sure y'all that go check me in. That's more my style, too. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I think okay. So. Uh, Ghetto Dreams, where can we go, uh, hear that at? On all streaming platforms, you know, everything. Just search it up, Traco Ghetto Dreams. Mm-hmm. Uh, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever. How many uh, visuals did you shoot off of the tape? Uh, probably about, probably about four, mm-hmm. four or five, yeah. Yeah, four. man. Because I know Priceless was a single. Mm-hmm. And I dropped it. Well, they, they tell me, like, I do a previews. I do previews of my music. And then they'll be like, bro, drop this right now. They were like, hey, yeah, yeah, drop this. I dropped Priceless, like, without the visual, I dropped the single, and mm-hmm. then they were like, hell yeah. I was like, yeah. The videographer, my boy KV, he actually reached out. He was like, bro, we need to shoot a video to Priceless. Like, I want to make this one look real dope. Mm-hmm. We shot that, bro. Mm-hmm. That one took off. Yeah, do, he, do he do most of your visual? All of them? All of them, yeah. So, hey, what, what, what's his name? KV. Hey, man, shout out to KV yeah. Visuals, by man. KV, yeah. Hey, man, if you, <laughs> that, I'm glad you, you said that because my next question, man, the visuals, bro, like, they look like movies, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I like the <laughs> intros and the, you know, the backstory behind them and yeah. all that. Who who come up with that concept? Is it you or is it him or how y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's bro, like, I always wanted to do, like, movies and stuff like that, so... I wanted to make it like movie, like, you know, acting. I wanted to give it that movie feel. I told him that. So he have a lot of input and, you know, he helps a lot too on the music. And also like people in my team around me too. They uh, got input, you know, and they put in their input and everything with it too. But most of all, bro, you know, it comes from the environment, my vision, you know, I'm visualizing it. Like I... I was saying, like, when I do my music and stuff, when I'm writing it, I can see it. Like, I can see it like a movie. So I see that, and when I'm making a song, it's like a movie. Even when I'm making a song, 
I can see myself performing certain songs, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like bringing that vision. That's the most important thing, your vision. Like imagination, your vision, what mm -hmm. you can see. And if you can see it, bro, you can you can get it. So you so you a visionary, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. not a that's not a that's a rare gift. Man. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people can see that far into something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's... I personally feel like I share that same, you know, thing, but this ain't about yeah. me, you know, I just yeah, you know, yeah, I just I can tell when I see, you know, yeah. see a person or whatever. And based off what you're saying. Hey man, shout out to uh, K KV Visuals, man, yeah. cause bro, hey man, yeah, KV Visuals Traco yeah. on the way, man. Yeah, hey, is, is he from here? Is he from the hometown? Yeah, he from Dallas. Okay, yeah, okay, Dallas. okay. Um, is that merch? You got merch on? Is yeah, that you, bro? I got the merch. You see it? You see it? Oh okay. man, that's oh man, that okay, that's dope. Oh, and this oh, this this exclusive, bro. Nobody ain't even seen this one. Oh man, with so the this stripes is, and yeah. stuff, nobody ain't even seen it. So, so this, this is a, so we, this, this I was gonna this. save it for a performance or something, but yeah. Hey man, exclusive. Easy TV exclusive. Yeah. Hey man, I got to give me one hey, of them, bro, man. Just hit me up. I got your size. I get you, hey, bro. Hey, bro, now for real, that's get that's dope, bro. Logo, hey man, that that's dope. Yeah, I like that, bro. It, bro. So besides the fire merch, is I mean besides that fire merch, do you have more merch or is that just? Is that, a, is that that's a prototype, or you I, already got I, something in the I past? I got more. I got more uh, clothing, more designs. Mm -hmm. I got sh I got shorts. Mm -hmm. I got t shirts. I had women's shorts, like the booty shorts. Them was sold out. Mm -hmm. Them was gone. Yeah. But yeah, I got more clothing, bro. Nah, yeah. the women cashed out like yeah, that. Bro, they <laughs> them was gone. That was was gone. I had pink, hot pink, white. The Traco name on it and glitter, mm. it's gone. Oh, okay, gone. so so we got Traco the engineer, Traco the rapper, Traco the businessman, yeah, Traco man. the visionary. Man, what can you not do, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do it all, man. Hey, I salute that, especially somebody from being from the hometown. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, now we're gonna step away from the music for a minute, right? Yeah. Now I didn't notice you. You went viral a couple months ago, but it wasn't. About music, and I quite understand. Yeah. Didn't understand the story. Could you? Man, let me show you. Explain that to the people, bro. Okay, so it's it's, it's more to it. Man, you see this? Okay. Ooh. Shirt. Okay, is that so, you in the car? Yeah. Bro. Okay. Okay, so let me tell you the story behind it. So okay. like, so like the day before this, this the day before this happened, we was uh out driving our cars. We'd be like, you know, doing donuts, racing, mm -hmm. and hanging out with the cars. So, we was in South Dallas. We was in South Dallas, and uh, we was hanging out, posted up with the cars, and uh, the police came by. They shut it down, and he was like, uh, hey, you, you go home, because I was recording them. He was like, hey, you, go home. So, I got in the car. I was still on Facebook Live and everything, and, like, they was behind us. They was behind us, but like, we, we took off, not chasing us, chasing us, but... They was like making sure we leave. So we had took off and but we were kinda driving fast and everything. So I ended the live or whatever and then I came up with a meme, you know, like the little uh selfie meme of the Dallas cops mm -hmm. and I posted that and it's, it made it look like uh I made it look like I dropped my phone and the police picked it up. Yeah. And, took my social media accounts and hacked them all. Mm -hmm. And it went like viral, bro. It went viral. I had the Dallas police officer selfies on there and everything. Went viral. People from from the UK, what, Iceland, like different countries, every state, New York, California, just everywhere, Texas too, just everywhere. They always like, hey, bro, come on. You can come hide here, bro. They ain't going to find you, I swear to God. <laughs> girls oh, girls was like, you can come hide with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trying to shoot they shot. Yeah. And, and uh, man, so it went so viral. It was on the news. I couldn't catch it. I couldn't even catch it, but people was telling me, man, it was on the news. And then uh, Texas Monthly News and Dallas Morning News, they reached out to me. They did an interview. They actually posted an article. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cop that was in the picture, the lady, she reached out to me. And she was like, um, she wanted to meet me and everything. So I went to the uh, downtown Dallas uh, headquarters. Mm -hmm. I met her, gave them all CDs and everything. And everything was good. So they want me to do like... Um, uh, speaking with the kids, you know, uh, they wanted to end it on a positive note. 
So they want me to do like speaking with the kids, uh, uh, you know, positive, give them a positive influence and inspire them, you know, and uh, you know, uh, be something for the kids, be something, be a light, be a positive role model for the kids. You know, so. Okay. Yeah, man, that, that thing went viral though, like, bro. It's just, oh, people, people making fake pages about me. Mm -hmm. I mean, fake pages of me on Twitter and everything. Yeah. I hope I hope you uh, shared the music with him while you hey, were doing oh, that. Yeah, I shared the music. <laughs> I shared the music. People was like, um, I came for the phone, but I stayed for the fire. Yeah. And they was talking about that uh, priceless, and people was retweeting it and mm -hmm. sharing it as it as they was coming in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bro, I gained a lot of followers from that, bro. Like a lot, a lot. I like, uh, you know how Facebook got the followers mm -hmm. on there. I think I had like a thousand. It said like two K. Mm -hmm. like, hey. Yeah, so it sounds like you the master the art of this of this, of this whole rap Water. everything you know yeah. the, the, the viralness the, the yeah. capturing the people attention <laughs> hey man between me and you and the rest of the world watching this I know a star when I see one bro yeah appreciate that bro I hope you remember the conversation we had off camera when oh, I was yeah. telling you about all the artists I, 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 I discovered early and I yeah. knew they was gonna blow yeah you got it bro just stay down, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you, you blessing me with this exclusive, man. You know hey, what I'm saying? <laughs> so, for real. For real. So, People want to see this. No, for sure. Shout out Traco, me, man. They be wanting me to uh, make videos and be on camera more, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, shoot, this is something good for them, you know? Yeah, for sure. Shout out to the fans, man, the supporters. Yeah, shout out to the fans, the supporters, you know, and the day ones, you know? They, they matter the most, for real. Yeah, shout out to Demarche, man. Oh, yeah, my boy Demarche. Yeah. <laughs> we be on them stocks and cryptocurrency. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, could you elaborate more on that? Because I was just about to ask you, is there anything you don't do? You know uh, what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, man, I got into, like, the stock market mm -hmm. and cryptocurrency, bro, investing in that. You know, um, that's something called dividend stocks, where you, if you buy a stock, and you let it sit, they'll pay you monthly mm -hmm. the more you invest into it. Mm -hmm. So I got into that cryptocurrency. Uh, say you can buy like the coin at like Bitcoin, I believe it's like 9K a coin. Mm -hmm. So if you buy, say like a month ago, it dropped. It was like, uh, I think it was like at 7K. Mm -hmm. So if you would have bought it at 7K, invested some money, now that it said like 9K, you, you, you would have made some money. Mm -hmm. Depending on how much you invest, though, you can invest $10. That would have went up. You probably would have had, like, 50 mm -hmm. But you can invest whatever you want to. But it's it's expected to go up to, like, 20 k Hopefully it do. Because, mm -hmm. boy, ooh, I'm going to use that to yeah. invest in some other. Trade code to jack all trades, man. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Um, man, I guess we're going to trickle back to the music now, man. Um when you when you making music right when you when you about to record or anything like that what gets you in that vibe what gets you in that mode the music mm -hmm. do you so, smoke drink or anything or? nah i don't smoke or drink okay it's shout just, out to you for that yeah, yeah i don't even i ain't never drunk before but i, I smoked before but like i don't you know what i'm saying i don't need it i don't really need it most people i see they just they just be smoking just to smoke mm -hmm. and i'll be like bro you just smoking money away uh, I mean, I don't know. I just see it different, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just see it different. Ain't nothing against it, though. Some people need it. I mean, sometimes it can, it could help, you know, other people. It inspire them. But, you know, I just I just get in my zone and just write the music, you know. And I use my mind, bro. I need a peace of mind. I need peace and quietness. And I just get in the zone, bro, and get the, you know, doing the music, you know. Yeah, for sure. Writing or... Or I visualize it in my mind and I just get to going, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's dope, bro. Yeah. And you say don't smoke or drink. Listen to other rappers and artists. I mean, and kids. It's, and kids. Yeah. It's okay to, to be a sober person. You know what I'm saying? I'm not judging nobody because, you know, I, I I drink a little wine from time to yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. I, I, it, yeah. But anyway, you know, another conversation yeah. for another day. You heard what he said, kids. Um. <laughs> Next question, bro. Before we wrap it up, I got two more questions. I'm gonna ask the first one. Would you sign? Uh, depending on the contract, what okay. they say, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, you know, 
most most contracts they be trying to sneak you. That's, mm-hmm. what, that's what I like to use. They mm-hmm. be trying to sneak you and manipulate you into a contract, and then you just messed over, you know. But yeah, I mean the money right, you know, and um, the money right, and and the contract right, and the business right, then yeah, yeah, I would. Okay. Has anybody tried to sign? Yeah, yeah, a few times, like ever since, like. The first time somebody tried to sign me, uh, I think it was like 18, mm-hmm. yeah, in high school, 18. That wasn't a good contract. That was like, they were trying, they trying to have too much of, of my money, like 70% of the CDs mm-hmm. and 40% of the uh, show money. So, no. Nah. And then uh, management contracts and stuff like that. And it, the contracts wasn't all that good, mm-hmm. so, no. Nah. Okay. Well, shout out to you for knowing, knowing what you're yeah. doing, man. You know, I was uh, watching Rich Tommy Kwan interview, and he told me that, uh, or not told me, he told <laughs> them on the interview that they were interviewing him that his first contract ever, he just signed it. Didn't read it, did nothing. He just <laughs> said, he just he saw the money and was like, let's do it. He tripping. You got to <laughs> look over that, bro. I mean, they get excited, though. When that mm-hmm. money, um, when, especially when you need it. They probably just gonna, you know, they ain't thinking. Mm-hmm. But you gotta, you gotta think, you know, long term. Like, bro, you wanna own your own stuff. You don't, you see some artists, bro, they sign and mm-hmm. then they gotta change their whole name. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you let somebody play you like that. Like, yeah. Are you gonna, bro, we gonna have to shug night something, or something <laughs> bro, for real, man. Yeah, sell out death row records, free shug. <laughs> for real. Oh <laughs> uh, man, it's been a great interview. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you one more question, and we're gonna wrap it up right here, man. Um, I, I I sincerely appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Real talk. Um, I haven't seen the Traco interview. You know nah. what I'm saying? Nowhere nah. else. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, best advice for any up and coming artist, if you have any. Uh, best advice I got is to focus on yourself and your craft. Don't try to sound like nobody else. It's okay to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to be judged or nothing like that. Just focus on you. Do what you gotta do. Uh, know your knowing your next move. Knowing what you need to do to further yourself. The next best move for you for your career. And uh, invest in yourself. Invest. Save up. Invest. Work hard. I mean, if you have to write your goals down. I, I write my goals down. Mm-hmm. You know, I write my goals down sometimes. And uh, just keep working at it. Don't give up. Because uh, little progress is better than no progress. Mm. So, so, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man. Traco, it's been a pleasure, man. I want to say keep going. Much blessings to you, my brother. You got a good head on your shoulders. I, I'm, I'm I'm, liking everything I heard, man. Yeah. Um, you, you said you don't smoke a drink and you coming out with music like this. I, <laughs> hey, man. Whatever you got going on up there in your membrane. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Shout out to it, man. But like I said, keep working. Um, I definitely want to see you at the top. I'm going to see you at the top. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Easy TV, Trey Kobe going up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Well, man, till next time.